Welcome back everyone, this is Damien with another exciting C++ tutorial and I have a bit of a treat planned for you right now. I'm going to show you how to make a very, very, very basic guessing game. And I know that this is going to take up just about all of our time, so I'm going to get right into it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be using a, a sentinel controlled loop. And what a sentinel controlled loop is going to be is one that we can break by entering a certain character. So we're going to start off by saying while uh, quit, which is just a single character, does not equal y, we're going to be inside this loop. And so we're going to ask the user, do you want to quit? They have to enter y. If they do, they're out. And I'll just demonstrate that real quick because that's the only thing in here. So I come down in here, type Y, and that's it. It ends. If I type no, it'll just go through and ask me infinitely at this point, but obviously we're going to add a lot more. Now, there's a few different ways that we can create random numbers. Um, the way to do it is actually going to be a little bit long for me to include in this video. I will post it in the included source code, which is going to be in the link below the way that you should actually do it to generate a random number. For now, I'm going to just make a, uh, uh, a let's make it an int and call it comp guess. And we'll just say 333. Three, three. And that's going to be the computer's uh, our comp num equals 333. Three, three. And so the computer is just going to have that number every single time. Um, again, I'll show you how to properly randomize it in the code below, but we're not going to talk about that later. Um, it will be a link to my IDE1 account. Okay, so continuing on, what we're going to do is we're going to see out and tell the user um, the computer has guessed a number between 1 and uh, let's say a thousand. Okay. Try to guess the number. Okay, now we're just going to see in. Uh, we don't really need guess to be a double. So we'll just do guess and set that equal to double, or an int rather. So we're going to see in our guess, and then we're going to check it against what the comp num is. So we're going to check and see uh, with a pretty simple statement. We're going to say if uh, guess is less than comp num. See out. Uh, what do we want to say? The no backslash n. The amount you guessed is less than the number the computer shows. Try again. In. Mm, actually, we won't do the CN quite there yet. Mm, we're actually going to make this a while statement. So while guess is not equal to comp guess, we're going to toss that inside of a while statement as well. And we're just going to enter what these are and while, and that's end if, and then our else if is going to be a simple uh, guess is greater than comp num. And this is going to be, oh, and actually we can see in for guess because now I put it inside a while, so. I'm just going to copy that because it's going to be the same thing. C out backslash n the amount 
you guess is greater than the number the computer chose. Try again. Okay, and just a semicolon there. Take another C in, and else. And now the only other else is going to mean that it is the number. So we're going to just have an else, and all that's going to be in it is a break. Um, the reason why is because if it went through if we didn't have this break, it would go through again, and it would bother you again. So, uh, we're going to... That's not comp guess, that's comp num. And that is end else. That's end else if. And so, with that, we should have a working simple program that is a guessing game. Um, when they're out of the loop, the only way past it is, you know, if they somehow should guess the number. So let's do backslash n, congrats, you guessed the number the computer had guessed. And then we'll just toss a backslash n in there so our other output comes out right. And really quickly, let's just check to see if this works. Okay, so guess a number between 1 and 1,000. We're going to guess 500. So the amount I guessed is greater. Um, let's try 122. Okay, well, that's less. Let's try uh, 300. Still less. And 350. That's greater. And now once we actually try 333, Congrats, you guessed the number the computer had guessed. Do you want to quit? Yes or no? In this case, I'll say yes, because that's really all we were trying to do, is to make sure it worked. This is just a simple guessing game, and we implemented it very quickly. Um, there's really no data checking. There's no anything serious being done here. Um, we are going to rewrite a program similar to this a little bit later when we do get into uh, to random number generation. Uh, we might actually use this program later as a template. Um, we might do a few other things at that point as well. But random numbers are a little bit beyond where we are now, so hopefully we'll get to that in due time. Um, for now, I'm going to leave it here. And actually, you know what? I'm just gonna gonna do it. Rand mod one thousand. Okay, let's see if I can do that. Okay, so now it's now it is a random number. That's really all you had to change, but that's not truly random. Um, and I'll explain why at a later time. But each time this is going to be the same number. I'll just see if I can guess it real quick. So that's less seven fifty. That's less uh, eight twenty five. Still less, 850, uh, 999. Okay, so that's greater, 900. Okay, 925, 950, 940, 930. Okay, so we know it's in the 930s. It's 935, 934, 933. Okay, and I guessed it. The only downside to this, right? Say I don't want to quit. It's going to start over again. It's going to be 9.33 again. And that's the reason why we don't use rand. There is something else that we have to do to make it actually random. Um, even if we do quit and launch it again... Mm, crap. So we quit, we launch it again. It's going to be the same thing, unfortunately. So we can just type 9.33, and that's it. So it's not really random. It's random the first time. Which is nice, but, um, you know, it has its uses. Well, that's it for this uh, episode. Hopefully you guys have taken away something useful from this. Um, just, you know, goes to show you that even when we're not dealing in terribly complicated things, 
we are able to make something that resembles a game. Granted, it might not be a fun game, it might not have explosions, you know. But give it time, we'll, we'll get into uh, the sea art side of things, and maybe I'll do a, uh, a separate series on game programming, because this one's going to stay focused on application programming for the foreseeable future. With that said, I'm Damien, and uh, if you have any questions, ask them below, or click subscribe above if you really enjoy my stuff. Alright, see you around.